All right, so um, kind of moving on, what is some of your thoughts, Zach, about what we're seeing in crypto? In fact, let me refresh the screen right now and see kind of where we're at. Okay, we've given back a little bit. What's, what's kind of your, your thoughts on what we're seeing and what we're going to see the remainder of this week, uh, Zach? You know, we've still got tomorrow, we got the FOMC meeting announcement when the chairman, earlier I was talking about, I kept saying Chairman Greenspan. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so old, right? I kept saying that and it's, it's, it's Papa Pal. Uh, but what do we think we're going to hear from him tomorrow in his speech? Beyond that, you know, we've got the ECB, which is basically, you know, their version of the Federal Reserve FOMC meeting is going to happen later this week. And we got labor. So what do you what do you think we're going to see the remainder of this week? Uh, you know, like yesterday we talked about, I think the 25 basis points is is kind of already baked in. We'll see. We could be wrong. Right. I mean, we're, we're guessing here. But I mean, based on what we've read and, and kind of what uh, what's been said out there by the uh, powers that be 25 basis points seems to be the direction. You know, I, I think Powell's going to take a similar stance. He always kind of defers to kind of take it month by month, day by day. We'll see where the data points us, but this is what we had to do right here, right now right. today with the 25 basis point hike. So it'll be interesting. I mean, there's, there's always a curveball though, and people hang on every word. There's always one phrase or one sentence that tends to shift the market one direction or another. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so do you think we're going to get a surprise out of the European counterpart meeting that the ECB kind of there on that side of the pond in terms of like their announcement? I mean, it's basically their version of the FOMC meeting. That's going to be supposed to happen yeah. Thursday. Uh, the only X factor for me there is the 10 percent interest rate number we got out of the UK, which was a surprise number that spooked right. me a little bit. And I think we because. Even if we get, let's say, let, here's where I'm going with this. If we, let's say, let's say Papa Pal is surprisingly not hawkish, bearish. If mm. the next day we get a, we get a, a, a bearish sentiment coming out of the UK or excuse me, out of the, out of Europe, mm -hmm. that can, that can send us backwards. hundred percent because inflation is not just the United States problem right now. I, know. I mean, it's a, it's a global problem. And in fact, as bad as it is in the United States, it's been worse in, in Europe. So yeah. Hundred percent, and when we're talking about a global market like crypto, all of that data, uh, as Foxy put, the data, all of that data impacts you know the markets. Yeah, I think that that can derail it. I think tomorrow is going to be unless Powell says something tremendously bearish, which we've watched enough of these. I think he's going to be very guarded. He's going to be very, very, very specific about the text he used, tone, all that stuff. But I, I'm basically considering it to be kind of a non-event um, because the the um, the United States numbers are not bad. They're kind of in line with expectations. Labor seems to be cooling a little bit, which we got the labor report reports, the farm and the uh, unemployment report coming out later this week. Um, it's, uh, to me, the X factor here is is Europe, is what comes out of that, that meeting. And if they dramatically raise their their respective interest rates. That's what that's to me the X factor for this week. Just given the information we have going in, uh, yeah. the potential for something bad yeah. to come out of that is a little bit higher there. Absolutely, right. absolutely. That's kind of what uh, you know what what my concern is for this week. Um, and then final thought here on this subject is we've got then the dialogue and what here's okay. So here's what they're really going to be pushing pal for. Is this the last interest rate hike? Now we've got the June FOMC meeting set. And I think the indicator is the consensus is probably another 25 basis points there. But that's, I think, what they're also going to be looking at on the on tomorrow's announcement from Powell is what are you going to do in June? And then what are you going to do in the rest of the year? What's your what's right. your two cents around that? Right. I, I, and I think he's going to be very, very vanilla. He, I, he, he's never once said really like with full conviction that this is going to be the last rate hike or, you know, we're going to cool down after this or after that. I think he's going to be very diligent and just say, you know, we'll know, we'll know more when we know more yeah. and kind of move on. Yep. Yep. Right. 